In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a shell. And uh, while that doesn't exactly sound like a very impressive feat, it's got some pretty cool applications. So first, get a Dynamesh on your canvas. And for this example, I think we're going to go ahead and cut this one in half. Okay. And click on your brush palette. Then press I for all of your insert brushes. And we'll use the sphere. Now you can use, uh, you can use symmetry for this example. But uh, first I'll show you without symmetry so you get a better understanding. So go ahead and hold the Alt key down on your keyboard and drag the sphere into place. Now if, if you find that it's off center, as you can see one side's bigger than the other, go ahead and let go of the Alt key without letting go, without um, releasing your click, and then hold down spacebar and you can move your shape around. Okay? Now once it's in the center, Go ahead and let go of spacebar, then let go of click, or depress click, whatever. And as you can see, it went ahead and masked your Dynamesh away from your insert sphere. Now, the button you're looking for is Create Shell, which is directly under the Dynamesh button. It has a thickness ratio as well, but we'll get into that in a minute. So go ahead and press Create Shell. Whoops, sorry. Clear the mask first, and then press Create Shell. And there you go. As you can see, it deleted that entire face and kind of created a bowl effect. Now, the thickness you would think would be this exterior here, but really, the thickness um, is actually based around uh, if you don't delete an entire face. So, say for instance, we go ahead and turn back on symmetry, and we import a couple of these. Again, I was holding Alt to throw in all of them. Go ahead, <coughs> sorry. Go ahead and clear the mask. And then with a thickness of about I don't know, 51, you can then press Create Shell. And as you can see, <laughs> it tried to fill in, using the thickness, uh, any of the faces that it didn't completely rip through. So go ahead and back that up. And if I lower this down to like 2 and say Create Shell, as you can see, you can actually see right through to the next one, whereas the higher your thickness is, create shell, the thicker that is. It creates a wall, basically, and tries to fill it in. Pretty neat, huh? Anyway, that is the create shell application, or the create shell tool. And uh, now, as for actual practical application, I'll show you that real quick, too. So let's turn this off. And we'll drag you back right there. Clear the mask and lower the shell, not that it matters, and create shell. Okay. We're going to go to the move tool, turn back on symmetry, and increase the size of the brush. Oops. You can create a hat or helmet. You know. And keep in mind, because this is a Dynamesh, you can uh, re re t uh, sorry, you can redivide your mesh whenever you want. So, as soon as you're comfortable with the general outline, whoops, make sure it actually fits a human head and doesn't look weird. Just swipe once, and you're revved and ready to go. And all that was from a sphere. Now, if you tried creating a helmet like this inside of Maya, it would take you quite a bit longer. I mean, that took me all of maybe a minute to actually go through the entire process. And again, um, that is the uh, insert sphere command. 